special mission for NASA, surveying the polar ice caps. And Hawaii is the place he calls home. Joining us this morning to tell us more about his mission, Walter Klein. Good morning to you. Good morning. Aloha. This is so exciting. We're yes. so glad to have you. Thank you for having of course, me. Uh, your family is here in Hawaii, but you're gone for about six weeks at a time uh, yeah. doing something pretty interesting. Tell us about your latest project. Yeah. So, the latest project we had was Operation Ice Bridge. It's an ongoing uh, mission that NASA has uh, from pole to pole. Um, the one that uh, we were talking about earlier was the one to Antarctica, the portion where we flew from Punta Arenas, Chile, down to Antarctica on an aircraft low level looking at, at the ice and the ocean and the ice structures for global climate change. And NASA's been doing this now for on and off for five years. We go pole to pole and looking at the, at the small micro changes in the climate to determine the rates of change in ice and, and all those things that you hear in the news often. So, right. And yeah. what's neat is uh, you keep in touch, of course, with your family, but you yeah. did a kind of a flyover and, and a, a play by play, really, yeah. on call. Tell us about that call yeah. you made. Yeah, so the aircraft is equipped with an Iridium telephone. And NASA likes to do a lot of outreaches, community outreaches with schools. And I have three lovely daughters, one of which is currently at La Pietra School. And what we've done is we'll, we'll speak to the students. First, we talk to the teachers and the science advisors to tell them what's going on. And then the students have a question and answer period while we're airborne. So you can actually speak to them, you know, real time for about a few minutes while we have some time in the airplane. That is it's, so neat. it's a lot of fun. Yeah, you get a lot of great questions. Definitely too. a lot of fun. And tell us about why this mission uh, is so important to gather this information and kind of let the world know what is going on with climate change. Well, the, the aircraft that we have fly about six or seven very, very high-tech instruments from various universities and, and consortia. And the idea is to fly repeatedly over the same areas of ice to look at rates of change, how much is being influenced by climate change. We're not there to draw any opinions. We're there to gather data points and science repeatedly over and over again. So it's very important to do it on an aircraft because you get the microclimates. You're really you're close up. And uh, close to the earth, close to the uh, close to the ice. And yeah. beautiful images captured, uh, you know, from the air. Yeah. So this is your job. This is your backyard. Yeah, it's uh, pretty awesome. Wonderful. <laughs> yeah, these are the uh, margins of the ice, the farthest regions uh, 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 that are. Um, are looked at with the aircraft will fly for about five or six hours over the ice. The transit from Punta Arenas, Chile, is pretty long, but we're looking at like the Bellinghausen Sea and these these great areas of ocean where icebergs are calving and forming. And we try to get there at the end of the winter time, which is uh, where the, the, the biggest margin of ice has occurred. So yeah, and we're low level too, so you're really seeing it up close and personal. We'll see Weddell seals. You know, you know, we, we'll see all kinds of. Um, of sea life very far at the, at the margins, but about 50 miles in, there's nobody. We're alone and unafraid. Wonderful. Uh, yeah. Walter, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Also sharing your thank images you. with us, your stories with us. We truly appreciate it. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure right. to be here. Aloha. Thank you so much. All right, Paul, back to thank you. Thank you.